Hi guys, I'm Grubby here, and this is a Ray Shadow Legends video. In this video, I don't know if this counts as luck or not. Uh, this is gonna be part of my Ray Shadow Legends diary. I haven't done one of those in a while. The reason why is because I don't really know how to categorize what just happened to me, basically. Uh, <laughs> it's not really a sharp opening or anything like that, but I recorded it because this morning, of course, I like wake up and I'm trying to clean the apartment and blah, 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 blah. And what I did was I took my, and I'm gonna play the video of this, I took my, um, I took Trunda and I took Seal of the Drakes. I put them in Nightmare Campaign and I just did the whole like multi-battle thing. And I was like, one of these times they're gonna get it. And they did. They got through Nightmare Campaign for me. I three-starred it, I am done. Hooray, I collected the shard. So then I go and I'm like, okay, cool. The portal is open. I have an hour left, okay? I got one hour left. I got a sacred shard now. I got one sacred shard. I, I've been buying, or buying like gems with the gems. I've been getting like ancient shards and I'm like, all right, well, let me go ahead and get these ancient shards, ancient shards, let me get these ancient shards. And like on the off chance that something's gonna happen, I'm gonna hope to God I get Valkyrie, right? Then I get this sacred shard. I'm like, yes, I got the sacred shard with like two hours to spare. So I can go ahead and open this sacred shard and get a Valkyrie. And, and 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 this is gonna be so cool. And then I stopped. I was like, you know what? It's not gonna happen. It's not gonna happen. I'm not gonna get Valkyrie. No chance, right? So then I go. I'm like, all right. I'm just sitting there, like hesitant. And then I like push the button. I was like, all right. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. And then I get a legendary. And I'm like, yes, I got my Valkyrie. And then it's Dragal or whatever his name is. And here's the thing. At first, and I. At first, I was disappointed. I was like, I wanted Valkyrie, and I didn't get Valkyrie. But at the same time, I pulled a legendary on a 10x event, and you're not even supposed to. I think it's supposed to be like, what in the what in the buckwheat is going on with my hair? Yeah, that showed my age, what in the buckwheat. All right, so, but no. So I got uh, Dragal the Gaunt, and I was like, Damn it. So I pulled a legendary during a 10X event. And this has happened to me way too many times where it's like a 10X event and it's like 10 times the chances. Okay, so does 10 times the chances mean that you get like a 0.1% chance and then they go 10 times and now you got a 1% chance to get the champion? Because I need to understand what 10X means. What are you multiplying this 10 times? Like, what are the chances of me getting Valkyrie in general? Is it a 2% chance? Is it a 20% chance? Is it a 0.00001% chance? Like, I don't know. And actually, this adds another question to me. Are the chances of pulling each champion actually the same across all champions, or is it different depending on when the champion was released? Meaning, are legacy champions easier to pull than regular or newer champions? Because it feels as though, and tell me if I'm wrong, whenever I pull ancient shards, I get a ton of the same rares all the time. And I'm not even complaining like, oh, I only get rid of the, no, the same ones. Give me new ones, give me different ones. It could be different legacy ones, but I seem like I'm pulling spirit host every other day. And if it's not a spirit host, it's a war maiden. If it's not a war maiden, it's a harrier, okay? Can't stand that boy band looking son of a But it seems to be that's the situation. So I also have this question. Can somebody let me know when you're pulling these champions, is it like equal across the board? Like there is what, 500 champions in the game? Let's say that there's 100 legendary champions let's, just to make the math easy. Is it a 1% chance for each legendary once you pull a legendary? So this was a 6% chance to pull a legendary. Is it a 1% chance for each legendary once you've been plopped into the pool of you're pulling a legendary? That's my question. Or is it like, well, Seal of the Drakes, you have a 5% chance, but with um, Riho, is that the one, the, the kick-ass uh, Shadowkin, um, the new one that just came out? But with her, you got a 1% a chance versus the 5% chance you have with Seal of the Drakes. And so when it's a 10X event for for Riho, I think her name is Riho, if it's a 10% chance for her, or 10, 10X, you have a 10% chance, but if it's a 
if it's a 10x chance on Seal the Tricks, you got a 50% chance. You know what I mean? Like, is it is it even all across the board? That's all I want to know. But apparently it wasn't enough luck for me to get anyone other than Drahal. Now, here's the thing. I was massively disappointed. And give me one more second while I go back into the game. So then I was like, I heard that he was kind of good, though. So maybe I'm just I'm rushing. Like, I still want Valkyrie Valkyrie still be better but am i am i being a spoiled brat here like i've been lucky quite a few times like especially with not pulling dupes like the only dupe legendary i got was seal the drakes and that's because i pulled her from a shard and i got her like three months later in the daily logins and was that really unlucky i mean come on so i went back and i'm gonna go through his skills real quick and it got me pretty excited uh so on his a1 attacks one enemy has a 20 percent chance of placing stun debuff for one turn there's a 40 percent chance when it's booked then you have places a 50 percent increased attack and a 60 percent increased defense buff on all allies for two turns which is boss um also places a block damage buff for one turn on allies with less than 30 percent hp boss i love that i love that ability and then down here ascended it's got so much text they can't even fit in how many books i still don't know how many books this ability takes like it could, it could be like down to level 400 down there for books for all i know all i see is level two and three Boop. so maybe i need to a yumi love it a yumi love that net. um so ascended uh rune rune stone blessing i don't know why i said rune like with my german accent which my german accent is a lot like my american one I, my german act when i speak german it's just terrible anyway <laughs> Uh, I'm all over the place. I think it's because I've had a little bit too much coffee, so forgive me. So, places a shield buff uh, equal to 15% of this this champion's max HP on all allies for three turns. That's the active part of the skill, which, you know, still is really good. Um, I'm assuming it's a five turn cooldown. I don't know if it goes down to four or three, because as I said, I can't see the rest of the books that are supposed to go in. Um, passive effect. Heal each ally by 15% of this champion's max HP whenever a shield buff placed by this champion expires. That is awesome just to begin with. Whenever a shield expires, is removed, or is broken by an enemy. Ally whose shield buffs are broken will also counterattack the enemy that breaks the shield. That is awesome. When a shield is broken, the heal occurs instantly before any remaining damage from the shield breaking the attack is taken. This is incredible. I love this ability. And I remember seeing in some videos where people were saying that he wasn't good. And I really need to know. And please comment below. Why is he not good? You tell me why this ability isn't incredible. Because I don't get it. Like, this made me really happy for him. Would I have wanted to have Valkyrie? Yeah, but I'm I'm pretty damn satisfied with this guy. Like, I'm happy with him. Like, I'm regretting doing all that work on Elder Skarg because I would have rather done it on this guy. Um, Elder Skarg, I still don't know if he's good or not. I, it looks like he's not, but I don't know. But, um, oh, and then also, or I think it's like 30 or 25% HP in all battles, whatever. Um, but he looks boss. So i'm looking forward to building him i'm very happy that i have gotten him i tell me if you guys think that he is garbage he's i haven't done anything with him as i said i literally just got him to this morning trying to scrap and scrounge and try to get that last sacred shard just so i could get a valkyrie so if you guys like him let me know tell me what you think tell me what you've done with him if you don't i need you to give me a real good reason why not because I'm just going to like all our, already what I have is just and you know my rule now that I put out like not going to take any five star gear beyond level 12 but I've put HP gloves HP chest and then speed boots shield set divine life like the best some of the best gear that I have or yeah that's some of the best gear I have I'm a mid level player I'm a mid game player so I don't have god level gear but that's some of the best I got and I think he's going to be incredible so I don't know I think he's going to be great a lot of you guys think he he isn't so please let me know in the comments below let me even let me even check his reviews oh well he's got a lot of these except for spider's den which okay um he's got a lot of good reviews but again taking these reviews like eh, with a grain of salt 
And then it also says like his set should be speed and whatever, whatever. All right, so I think he looks incredible. I'm very happy to have him. I wish I could have gotten Valkyrie, but such is my luck that I've pulled him. And that doesn't even mean like bad luck. It's just, it just is what it is. So I'm happy. Oh, that's all I can say is I'm happy. I'm happy. I'm happy. Can't wait to develop him and make a, make a character guide on him. So in any case, I drop Ray Shadow Legends videos every Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday, and DC Legends videos every Monday, Wednesday, Friday. And I'm starting a new game. I follow um, Darth Microtransactions, and he was talking about a game called a Marvel Revolution. I downloaded it. I'm gonna make a video about it like right after this, right now, because I haven't even started it. I'm gonna try to do like a, a different approach, kind of the approach that I tried to take to Ray, but I'm just gonna do like, I have no idea about the game. So I'm just gonna like just start off and record and see what happens, but getting into that a little bit too much. But in any case, thank you guys for watching. Please like, please subscribe. And if you don't like it, hit subscribe and hit dislike. I'm okay with that as well. And I'll see you guys next time.